Right guys, uh, yin and yang, male and female. Now I did a book called um, The Ultimate Guide to Yin Yang. So if you're interested in yin yang, get yourself a copy. But my name's Anthony Cummins, I'm a historical researcher and I do historical ninjutsu and samurai warfare. And yin yang is a massive part of it. So the question comes is, yang is often said to be male and yin is often said to be female. So then people get the impression when they go through yin yang theory that there are certain male things and certain female things but this is not true yin and yang do not have gender in themselves it's not that in the sky as so yin and yang basically we don't know are different aspects of chi so as one the one presence at the beginning of the universe divided it created two aspects which creates context which creates opposites and connections between things and as those two move the different chi's form in the universe so what we have here is Yang Chi, strong and physically strong and more aggressive. Um, yin Chi, which is subtler, more indirect, if you like. There's lots of ways to describe it. So what we find is that when humans invent the idea of yin yang, of course, they then say, well, women are yin and men are yang. But that doesn't mean yin and yang have sexual organs and they're genitalia and they sit around in the sky being male and female. Excuse me, that's not true. Basically, the idea of yang and the idea of yin we put male and female into them it's not that they are male or female so for example you can get two men who are one is more yang than the other big strapping man who's aggressive let's go on another sort of geeky like he's a bit more yin to that man's yang the same with females females can be more yang than um, other females that are yin you could even go as to say some males are less um, yang than some females and some male females are less or um, uh, less yin than some males if you know what i mean so it goes in different ways so just if you're out there just think about it it's not that yin and yang are male and that's female it's that that's yang and that's yin that's the name for them it isn't like they are female that's the name and males fit into the yang category and females you fit into the female uh, yang yin category but also you can have two or three males in one category that are more yang or yin than the other ones so it's about context so this idea that you know it then goes gets a bit sort of in the modern political world where people are sort of saying oh you know the male and this is female and what is female what is it and where everything's being questioned yin and yang have no gender but we can ascribe gender into the each category of yin or yang so there you go guys i'm in a place where there's very crappy internet at the minute so i'm gonna have to do for my normal subscribers i'm gonna do a series of videos over the next couple of weeks which are very short because i need to upload and it takes ages to upload these videos so i'm in a terrible internet area so i'll be i'll be back home in a couple of weeks oh,